I've gone through and I've set everything that the card tells me to set at top dead center. So what we need to do is we need to take my little bump start button and I need to turn the motor over 360 degrees. I'm going to bring it back so that the, my pointer lines up at zero. And when I do, neither one of these should be loose. And I know I'm 360 off and it's time to set the other ones. Now I did notice as I went through here, almost every single valve I checked was a little bit tight. Now, not real bad tight, but just a little. And I'm fine with that. What happened is this is a fairly new motor. And this is the first time I've checked it since we've ran a few races on it. And the valves have seated themselves. And when they do, your latch tightens up. And so if it's a little bit tight, don't really worry about it. If it's a little bit loose, don't really worry about it. Now I do reset them back to where they're supposed to be, but I'm not worried about anything in the motor. If it's really bad tight, then you've stretched a valve or something like that, and it's time to probably tear the motor down. If they're really bad loose, then and if nothing has come loose, then more than likely what's happened is it's eaten a lobe off the cam and it's let the back of the rocker arm drop down and you've got uh, loose in there or it's eaten a lifter, something like that. Again, it's time to tear the motor down. Now, I hate to tear a motor down, but it's better to do it when you find a problem than blow the motor up and lose everything. So let's go ahead and bump it over to 360. Corner's back at zero. My number one rockers aren't loose, so I know we're at 360. So I'm just going to repeat the same process. Use my feeler gauge, do the intake on the intake, the exhaust on the exhaust, and check them all, set them all, and then we'll be ready to put the valve covers back on. We've got the valve lash set. We've got everything back on. Stud girl's back on. The valve covers are back on. The only thing we have left to do is crank it up and make sure there are no leaks. So let's do that.